All right, let's get to another story. This one affecting mm -hmm. all of us nationwide. So take a look at this map here. On this map, it shows how nearly half of faucets across this entire country likely contain forever chemicals, chemicals that could cause cancer. That's all according to a new study. We're talking about PFAS. I know you've heard that term before. Our area is included in this. You can see where PFAS was detected in Durham and Raleigh. WRAL's Destiny Patterson got a closer look at the study and what it means for your drinking water. Right off of US-1, right near downtown Cary, is one of the communities that was found to have PFAS or forever chemicals in their drinking water. Exposure to those chemicals has been linked to cancer, fertility issues, and other health issues. When you get water from the tap, there's no way to immediately tell if so-called forever chemicals are in your cup. The biggest source of exposure to PFAS is through contaminated drinking water. The U.S. Geological Survey's research marks the first time anyone has tested and compared PFAS in tap water from both private and government-regulated public water supplies around the country. It found that at least 45 percent of the nation's tap water is estimated to have at least one type of PFAS. The more we learn about them, the more we realize they're everywhere in our environment. In fact, researchers found widespread contamination across the country. Of the 11 sites tested in North Carolina, it found the presence of forever chemicals at four of them. And the more we look for PFAS, the more we find it in other places. It sheds light to additional areas facing contamination outside of Cape Fear and Pittsburgh. The USGS cert, uh, study confirmed um, what we thought would be the case. Ed Buchan with Raleigh Water says the city has been monitoring its water supply for years. We feel like our tap water is still very safe. Generally in science, there's no such thing as zero. Now it's up to the Environmental Protection Agency to set the guidelines. It puts us in a, in a waiting pattern. Just this year, the EPA announced its first ever drinking standards for PFAS. It's a proposed standard and it's not clear if and when it will become final. Destiny Patterson, WREL News.